evening, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Lou? Can you can you even like pause for a second and let me try and be serious, honestly? No, no, when you're smiling like a donut at me. <gasps> Next time, I'm just gonna just gonna burst out with that. The thing is, I have to wait for a, a, a moment where not you're not speaking, you're not chuckling, you're not laughing, and and you bugger it up every time. I'm not the one who screws it up. It's you. It's you. Yep. Anyway, you just welcome. Said, you just said bursting. Every, whatever. Everyone, welcome to Resonance Arcade. It is Friday night, and we're playing Metal Gear Solid Two again. We've got um, again. This is a pre-record, but we put, we might put all our uh, gameplays straight to YouTube. Um, we're just going to get straight on with it. So back to where we were. We just um, what 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 were we just done? Just encountered Vamp for the first time, and the uh, mysterious Iroquois Pleskia. And also who's definitely. Definitely, probably not, but might be, but probably isn't, but probably is solid snake. And accidentally shot him in the face and put him. <laughs> oh, you, tra you tranquilized him as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and he called you a moron. <laughs> did. Quite rightly so, I should say. Right, then. Shut up! Mama! <laughs> Uh, I genuinely have forgotten where the hell we're supposed to go next. Good. I'm glad I'm not we the only incompetent one here. But we were talking all over the last cutscene and I can't remember what the next step is. Well, actually, Chris skipped through it, didn't he? Accidentally, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, so... Can you get it, can you get it again? Uh, um, have a... Sorry. Um, have a look at your inventory and see if you've got any key cards, because obviously there's... In standard Metal Gear form, there'll be locked doors, and if you can start going in there, you'll go forwards. Say that again. If you have a look at your item inventory, see if you've got any, been given any key cards. No. Um, yeah. I think you're supposed to head in the direction of <coughs> uh, Shell One Core to start off with. So I think back the way you came, I guess, if you look for the bridges to this core. A B connecting bridge. That's where I came from. A, I think. Yeah. I can't remember if that's the right direction. Well. Um, I'll just pull up your map a second and see where it... I know you had it up a minute ago, but I just wasn't paying attention to it. Steve's just asking if we've started already. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we have, Steve. We have. Sorry, Sorry about Steve. that, mate. You're a bit... Uh, just a few seconds too late. Um, what are we okay. looking for? I would go back to Strut B, then, uh, where you just came from, and head, sit, head try and head to A core. So if you go from B, that takes you out onto that connecting bridge to C, but also goes to the core. I think head that way. Okay. Some shit will happen. <laughs> I don't know. I, d I don't know what you just said. I'm just going to go backwards. All right. I tell you what. It's so even though it, it does take a little bit to set up, it's so much easier playing on a p on a uh, on an actual console rather than via the emulator. Mm. Don't know why I did that. Just for you know. Shits and giggles. Shits and giggles. Yeah. Ah, Metal Gear Solid had the ultimate locker opening. Lots of lockers to open in these games, by the way. And kick. Yeah. When you kick a window, the door falls inwards, doesn't it? Like that. Like, so if it's locked, you're never going to get in it, essentially. <laughs> 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 right, that's where I've just come from. Yeah. Oh, something's happening. I can hear something. Yeah. I'm sure there was talk about where, in the last cutscene they said that there we go, SEAL Team 10 are getting pwned. Aren't there some missions in this way you can play as Snake on the big shell? Yeah, that's like the VR missions you yeah. get in the extended version, yeah. It's not part of the main story though. Baker Street. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's not favourite character, Fortune. Everyone who? Everyone? What? what? Everyone's oh, not favourite character. Don't even remember her. What the yeah. hell is that? I still wouldn't be that confident in that technology, you know? Come, put me out of that, my misery. That I'd just stand there. Oh, wait to spoil it. <laughs> 
Is she a bit more in the Matrix than the last guy? Who had to dodge the bullets? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Here oh, he here he is. He's your, he's your mate. Yep. Was that the president? Picked him up by one hand. Yep. I could do that, I just don't want to. <laughs> They've conveniently stopped um... shooting. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realise that they weren't hitting at. Don't let them take the president. They've took the president. Yeah, it did just took him while you stopped shooting. <laughs> Get your act to get the seal team ten. Not asked, is she? Just not asked. Good. Indeed. So, Lou, what do you predict's going to happen in in a second? Uh, Some, something Japanese. Do you think? Do you think that the Navy SEALs are going to win this fight? Day. <laughs> no. Considering that that's a boss and we haven't fought her yet. Oh, she's got a light. She's, she's got a massive rail gun. Oh, it's a rail gun, isn't it? A, I think it's supposed to be a rail gun, yeah. Yeah, it's a rail gun. Huh? I've never seen someone reeled to clarinet music before. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit it's all a bit overly dramatic with fortune. But it's that overly dramatic thing. Remember we were saying where it's dramatic but you don't really care? Yeah. Like, I never connected with this character or gave a shit about her. Sorry to spoil that, but she's not one of the better ones. <laughs> and she kills birds. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm so sorry. Well, we can kill some birds later on if you want. I'll see you again. And then Rose will have a go at you about it. Yay. <laughs> Jack, seems, don't do that. She seems to have a bit of a death wish as well. She's a bit emo. Totally death wish, yeah. Massive emo death wish woman. <laughs> so, uh, it's exactly what she is. She has that thing of like, can you set me free? Can you kill me? That's all they're like. She gives all that kind I'll of shit. I'll down my village. Yeah. Yeah, Vamp, Vamp seems to be enjoying being undead. I don't know if he is undead. I can't even remember well, what he is. To be honest. To be Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What it's happened to the cargo scene. choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? Which you'll be fighting what later on. This? A Harrier? Calm down. It yeah, you fight a Harrier in this game. The pretty class. What? Harrier or a Harrier? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fight, did not say Harrier? He said Harrier. On top of Did that, I say that? We know their oh, defensive the capabilities. Colonel said it. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But there's no, no time pressure. for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in He's so naive, yes. isn't he? But we need to consider the possibility He's like, that they'll be Oh really? Shell. I mean, is that, that really gonna happen? Does take place. Yeah. It'll devastate not only the, He's harbor, not the but poison the Sorry, the grizzled and experienced soldier that Snake is. <sighs> Although Raiden, He's still we stupid though. The mission objectives. The priority yeah. is now on removing those C fours that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't can he? Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. Snake doesn't care if he's an expert in summer or not, does he? In with them. Just because it does it. He was supposed to stand by on struts. <laughs> in fact, I pretty much said, plan. I think Raiden has a lot of it that mistake later there. on in the game where Is he's like, do you think we can do this? And Snake's like, what are you talking about? We can't because Get we have to. See and find that's basically his attitude. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead cell, I mean. They couldn't be no matter how hard they tried. <laughs> and that vampire too. That's who they are. It's like, <laughs> it's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose, I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my what? mind. Whoa, it all seems Whether real in real Metal Gear Solid dream, World. I'll keep watching you till it's over. Yeah, and all this he's, stuff he's, he's not, about is important. He's not as perceptive as he's making out here, Are is he? Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. <sighs> Bit of 
chafing. Chafe it up. I fucking love that cartwheel move. It is. It's meant as. It's so good. <laughs> I wish I could do that, this. in fact. Yeah, man. If I could do that down my stairs, I'd do it every day. <laughs> Just do a massive one jump cartwheel down the staircase. <laughs> that would be an instant viral hit. It definitely would. There's probably some really like athletic parkour dude that can do that. <laughs> He's now in a wheelchair. <laughs> he did it once. Is that Jordan? <laughs> it is, yeah. I think it is, yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's because they got pictures from like FHM and stuff, didn't they? Give her a kiss. Do you reckon she realises <laughs> that she's in um, Metal Gear Solid? I don't think she would even know what it was. Um, how do you do it again? Oh, what was it? It was one of the uh, shoulder oh, there buttons, we go. right? The lead button. <laughs> not that I would. Not, not that I would. No. That Katie is a train wreck, isn't it? Can go away, please. <laughs> So's Katie, if you're watching. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no hard feelings, Katie, but fuck off. We, we know you. <laughs> we, we know you enjoy watching on a regular basis, but we, you know. <laughs> you just vacuous tart. Ah, uh, yeah. This bitch couldn't even make her own autobiography. Uh, which one? Crystal. No, no, she's, she's literally better. she's literally re written about six. Well, which one of them? She hasn't made any of them, in fact. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, she's she's been attached to <coughs> about six. Don't call her a bitch, it... anyway. No need for that. Don't call her a bitch. You did. I did. I don't call you women bitches. I don't think anybody blatantly did. <laughs> you called her a tart. I, I called her a tart. I said don't call her a bitch. I didn't say don't call her a tart. I don't think call anybody her a bitch. Did call her a bitch. You did. You said the lazy bitch. <laughs> the lazy bitch. It wouldn't even write her own. Thingy, whatever it was. Oh, what really it is, yeah. yeah, shut up then. <laughs> it's only when you say lazy bitch. Derogatory, sexist, racist. Don't pick up that spanner, old man. I'm not in lazy white bitch. Came in with the problem team. Who are you with? And what happened to Seal Team Ten? Is it Claire Davis? <laughs> she. She. <All> <laughs> Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Uh. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? <laughs> My name it's is the dude from The Shining. Peter yeah. Stillman. It's the old dude from The Shining. I that. <laughs> I'm a lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picture. I'm getting Thanks. too old for this shit. <laughs> 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 Danny yes. Glover. Can't keep up with yeah. everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. Do, oh, do any God, of us care, a mate? A famous yeah. church? Uh, the Vatican. <laughs> so you're the bomb disposal guy. I don't think yes. that's classed as a church, is it? It's above it's cathedral. It's the Vatican. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's Kid, not this is the bomb disposal. <laughs> it's, a, it's like two ranks <laughs> above cathedral. Disposal there. textbook, and you'll see his rank. name. <laughs> Just ancient history. What now. is it? Go cathedral, mega cathedral, bring you out of <laughs> ultra mega <laughs> wizard cathedral. <laughs> Level nine thousand. <laughs> Plus XP DLC cathedral. <laughs> I created him in a sense, and that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise. The I bet it's the Dark Chief's dad. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. Sounds a bit like. I wouldn't say that. So you had the talk, I think you're talking about Fat Man and the bombs he settled. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Nope. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. <laughs> That's an odd name. <laughs> <laughs> he just read. There was also Ryden. An engineer. With me. <laughs> an engineer? <laughs> I think the sink's out a little bit on my a side as well. Guy. He went in is with it? us. It's not. It's not too bad though. I don't he? think. I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? Did you wonder who that skinny so. guy is? I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. 
Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no so one. Yeah, one of the, the, the guy's COD dead cell squad. is a guy called yeah. Fat Man, so we who have to is, do it ourselves. as they might suggest, never defused a bomb it's before. his bombs and explosives that he set a load of bombs around. With the CO again. I hate that boss battle as well. I, I hate all the boss battles. I think it's obvious now, isn't it? Because you shot them. No, it's just because I don't I like boss battles in general. Safe. I find the them too restrictive. Possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer <laughs> came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, yeah. I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose, what a pussy. You can do this. Trust me. <laughs> you I can tell you're going to be a fan of writing then, are you? <laughs> VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. I only, to be fair, I only really like Raiden when I finish the game. You're up for this. You know that. Yeah, How it's a good kid. Yeah, you're not really supposed to like him that much at the beginning. Because right, he is. Well, is this, not, is this giving so him a story cool, arc? There's no need to think about this. He's got a story has, arc, believe me, right. but it's, it's completely crazy. It feels like they're setting it up by making him such a fucking wet pond at the beginning. <laughs> Who could do so awesome gonna give... somersaults? <laughs> yeah. Downstairs. Yeah, yeah, he has a, this is a C4 fucking bar. weird storyline for Raiden, isn't it? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? It's live. You the fuck? Us. Spray this on the sucker, and there we go. Simple, huh? What? Ah, the old coolant spray. How long does the effect last? Oops! Accidentally flipped, changed that out for a It'll stay out of commission for at least twenty-four hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the Any bomb spray, I like it. Under a table, yep. everywhere. Keep it in your bat utility belt. All the time. Of <laughs> Along with your bat and your shark spray. Yeah. We don't know a thing about fat. I've actually seen that film, you know. Yeah, I have as well. The bombs. Here. It's pretty Take funny, like people say it's awful, but it's, it's like, they call yeah, it's supposed to be. It's just it's comedy. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. This means you've got to go bomb on the other odorless substance. I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetic he is. <laughs> Signatures? You look yes, that fat. On every bomb he builds. It's Fat Man, you can say Fat Man is the name of. The two bombs that the trucks are all serious. Fat Man and Little Boy. Yeah. Man and Little Boy, yeah, that's why he's called Fat Man. Is that something he learned? He's just, he's a, he no, explodes really it badly. Was his own quirk. <laughs> he wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. He's just a dog bomb disposal, I'm dude. We don't need I his backstory, no do we? My own, and I yeah, they've all got a tragic so backstory, so. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. I've got to Even say, as an outsider, the uh, the writing in this I game is terrible. Some people called him one of the <laughs> I know you might be holding it in reverence because you love the series, but it's terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. Game, I, <laughs> I think I think the um, the trick is to know which I like the I like the story, right. the overall arc. But yes, the the implementation of it is a little bit from using lacking. Yeah, the think. story seems to be interesting and uh, original, but the writing of the scenes is is awful. It could be a lot worse, well to be fair. It could no, be, but, but it's not right. much worse. <laughs> it's because the the thing the thing I don't like, I think, is that it's forcing cinematics on you all the time, which is something that games are leaning away from these days. Isn't Metal Gear 3 isn't even worse for that, though? It's Metal Gear 4 no. is oh, worse. Is it? All right. I thought oh, Metal Gear 3 is actually um, oh, God. the open-ended gameplay. Metal Gear 3 is probably the biggest one. It's the biggest snake in the world, the most out of all of them, actually. Many people consider that one to be the best. In a lot of ways, it is, actually. It is possibly objectively speaking the best one. Is that the one with the end, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the boss and 
it's got a really good story in it because it, it's like set before everything else happened. I know it isn't. It isn't like. It, and if he wants to take out it's not having to keep target. up with the law because it's making its own you know, law because sure. it's set before everything. So it's a more self-contained, simple story mm. rather than this one where it's got a remember stuff from the past game theories. and Metal Gear's one and two. If you've not even seen those, the no MSX ones. A big boss was the bad guy and all that. It's all of two hexagons in the history. Joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. <sighs> you need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of twelve bombs at least. Yay, Matt! The shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint. 158. Conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided. That's what his IQ is. 158. It's sick. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> It's something like that. It's something ridiculous. It is supposed to be something really high. This place is all yours. Oh, I'll it's take got care a, of shell a bout of tinnitus, tinnitus in me right here. That's Snake uses IQ to burn your brain. <laughs> that guy's yeah. forehead looks like a What's Easter this? egg. Security card. Issued and then the good news about these cards is you don't have to equip them to go through the doors. Just having that on you. The big shell security layout includes varying just, levels. It's just a simple thing. The well, it makes it a lot nicer to on go these doors. around the place. Raiden, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card it? can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed it seemed to like this would really confuse me and put me off. I'd be thinking, site. what the hell do I have to do now? This card like, he's got this card and he can go here, and this guy's got this card and he can go here. What the hell? We'll have to deal we have with talked over it, so basically yeah. there's two halves, there's, uh, there's get going. shell one and shell two, as you see on the map there's like here. No, I'm going. Uh, two squares two and there's loads of hexagons around each one, Snake's going to go around the second half, slow us down with that leg maybe around the first half. There's we just talked over the information here. to be fair, it is quite well explained. Anymore. I think we just talked over most of it. Why don't you it just, just it was a lot explained though, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Most of it was, Fat Man is a tragic story, I used yeah, to be his true. friend, now we must kill him, or some shit, basically that was it. But it's the same before yeah, every yeah, single yeah. boss battle, basically. In case of what? Good luck to both. It's quite a long way before the boss battle, we've got to one. get rid of all his bombs first and then have a fight with him. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. <clears throat> Semper Fi. Stop <laughs> saying shit in Latin, man. That man or just so using cool. random military. Semper uh, Fi is the, yeah, the, the Marines. The the Marines catchphrase. But who tears Semper wins is the SAS, apparently. Yeah. I think you're about to talk about that right now. Court talk. See? <laughs> Oh. It's the, well, it's the SAS and, and Del Boy Trotter. <laughs> and as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Yeah, Air Service, Chris. What did you think it was, Super Army Soldiers? <laughs> is he one of the terrorists then? <laughs> no, my, uh, my first There's Quake so clan was called Special own. Quake Services. Um... No, it wasn't. It was called Secret Quake Services. Se Secret Quake Services. S Christ. Yeah, SQS. Secret. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Anyway, I got it wrong, and it just stuck. Um, it should have been Special well, Quake Services. They could be back in this area soon. My first, my only Quake clan, and Lou was a member of it. Yep. He was my bitch. I'll hide out in this pantry for. I was your second in command. I was an XO. If I lock the door, you'll be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to. M worry as about well. Me. I'll give you instructions by here. <coughs> Good luck, kid. Oh yeah, so he's gonna hide in there. Yeah. Bomb disposal is a face-off. Fuck off! Just fuck off! Fear get to you. Shut up! When you give in to the fear. Right, if so you're already at this stage, at this stage of the game, what are you gonna be like later on? Uh, maybe I'm just not in the mood tonight. I don't mind usually, but I don't know. There's something about these cutscenes that are they're dragging on. They really are dragging. In this particular game, it seems to be have been most cutscenes and not much gameplay so far. Um, I would not disagree with you on that, to be honest. I mean, I don't mind that. I do expect that with Metal Gears, but I don't know something about playing it again when you've already you already know it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Oh, so when you see that yellow splodgy bit on your radar, that's a bomb for those who didn't pick that up from the little bit earlier. Chris, stop it! <laughs> Perfectly natural to look at the ladies. It is, but not during the stream. Yeah, whatever. The so next, that, that, to be fair, that's part of the character of this game, I reckon, showing people that might not have seen it before that there's just loads of posters of girls everywhere. What? And occasionally men. Occasionally men, but there's more girls. It's in people's lockers a lot. Ah, as well. I see. I was wondering where the yellow splodge was. I couldn't see it for a second then. In the toilet. I think this is the women's toilets, and that if you ring them whilst you're in there, they'll say some shit to you. But I guess you don't want to go through a million codec calls. Not, not today. Right, where the fudge is this thing? If I remember, if you go to the mirror, <laughs> I do remember where the bombs are. Once we get going with them, it's. Right near one of the Aha. mirrors. There you go. You have to go stand right under the mirror to get to it. Cool that shit. Yay. Of course, a codec call. Right in here. I took you just disposed that bomb. In Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. <sighs> That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? I'm not going to have this much story in my game. The fact that I will be called into this. <laughs> There's something going on. You'll walk down a hallway and they'll be like, uh, oh, so you've got to do this. It, 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 it's you know it's sometimes it's a little bit like can you just give me a few things to do and shut I, up. I, I don't remember what's the best order to go in. Um, most of the good stuff to pick up is in the warehouse. If you remember, that's to the right of where you came in at Strut A. Because uh, I think what you want to get is a silenced pistol to take out these guys. Um, you don't have a silence for it. Yeah, I've got a feeling that's in the warehouse, but I could be wrong about that. But to be fair, there's one in each <coughs> um, strut, so you have to go to all of them anyway. There's at least one in each one. I think there's more than one in some of them. I was going to say, there's, there's... Dudes! Noise. That's the uh, the bomb sensor. When you get close to one, it does that All right. as well. <coughs> yeah, I've got a feeling it's in just in the other side of that door. Oh, there's someone else there. Well, there's indeed, and he's just about to walk past the door. <laughs> you got your gun inside his face. Inside yep. his face. <laughs> what a silly little dance that is. Especially he was kind of skull fucking himself with your gun. <laughs> yeah. I have to close that door and it's behind it or something. You see that little electrical cupboard there? I think if you close that door, it's behind there. Look at you. Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, this is where I shoot it by accident. Yeah. Fortunately, <laughs> shoot, I think if you shoot it with the tranquilizer, it might be alright. I don't know. Still, still warm. If you shoot it with a pistol, it'll blow it up, yeah. C4 shouldn't blow up if you shoot it. Yeah, but it's a game though, and it's an explosive, so. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Red barrels don't blow up when you shoot them either. 
you gave and you, can, and you can't somersault you can't somersault downstairs either. Yeah, I still reckon that some like dudes can do that, and some dudettes as well. We just have to be very yeah, uh, what's the word? agile and whatnot to do it. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's interesting to think that this game's all set in the daytime and the previous one's all set at night time. It's not really something I've ever been consciously thought about that much before, but just give it immediately a very different sort of feel. Yeah, like I say, I, I've barely seen this game, but I really do remember this. It's very distinctive location, all the orange and daylight. Mm. Um, but it's think... loosely modelled off oil rig sort of design, I think. Yeah. It's nice as well because um, a lot of times games and movies use night just to kind of cover up the, the you know, the, the lack of detail. Mm. Whereas this is openly showing everything. You, know, you walk around, you can see all of the rest of the the, uh, the rig. It's quite cool. Maybe that's a conscious choice because they knew how much detail they could farm out of this engine they've got. And they were like, let's show it. Mm. <laughs> Do it in the daytime. Because this game is overflowing with little details like that, especially for a PlayStation 2 game. It's very smooth, by the way. Freeze. <gasps> this is that guy who got alerted on you about 20 times when we started. <laughs> <laughs> this one is not no tea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joy no tea or something. Yeah, uh, toothless Joe. That's it. <laughs> Joey Doty, <laughs> also known as. Oh, Crikey. Nice. So, now that there's no other guards in this room, you can just bust the cameras with your pistol and permanently destroy them. Uh, and they don't respawn the cameras once you destroy them, which is great. Oh. Why did they come in? Did, you, did, you, did somebody made that in or something? Yes. No, I think they're just checking in. Shit. Oh, uh, that's a good point actually, because they'll do they'll do regular check-ins as well in certain areas. If they don't check in, the guards will come and investigate. So, puts a bit of a time limit on you. The Escapades. All clear. Now that guy's back up again. How the fudge do I get over? Go up the steps and I bet you have to crouch yeah. under some pipes, yeah. Look that baseline. So, uh, if you look at that red pipe there, I think you can crawl under that lengthways, big red one. And then the bomb is somewhere. Yeah. Around the thing. Oh, I see it, Kavna. <laughs> is there actually a code call every time you dispose right. one? The C4 found in I don't remember that being a thing. Frozen and disposed of. It's not so bad when you haven't seen it before, though. On the first floor. I guess well, so, yeah. Lou, Lou, Lou would disagree by the look on his face. This is something only an amateur would do. There is no need to have a, co a codec for every one of them. Found really. so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. Because he's already said, it already said that, yeah. Even fat man can what make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going Just on. Just normal. Do you normally play it on like hard or whatever? I've got a bad feeling. Yeah, normally. If you play it on, on the harder difficulties, there are more bombs in each area as well. I wonder if you play it on hard and it, it doesn't uh, harass you with codec calls as much as well. No, it's part of the story. Yeah, but that clearly wasn't. That was just a. No, it was. Like a it's just fresher tutorial. He's building. Just make sure you knew what you're doing. Building um, tension. They're all interconnected. The, 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 all the that stuff, the interstitial stuff, is all exactly the same. Only gameplay itself is affected by the difficulty setting. Like enemies are harder. There are more guards. Um, your health bar isn't as good. You know that kind of usual difficulty stuff. There are more bombs to find on these bits, for example. Oh. 
Is that a cardboard box there? Yeah. Video's gone really bad. It has for me as well, I wasn't sure if it was just my computer. Well, I'm afraid I can't do much about that. It's okay. And now then, the cardboard boxes in this place, um, they, there's a there's a room, it's like a cardboard box sorting room, like a box sorting room. And if you're in a certain type of box and you get in the machine with the box on it, it'll send you to different parts of the big shell. Which is quite a cool way of getting shortcuts if you're going around. <coughs> Um, so that box one will say to, you know, strut A or whatever, and it'll take you to strut A if you get on the machine. Which is quite cool. Uh, is there a machine here? No, it's in a, I can't remember which strut it's in. But it'll say what strut the box is for. Probably strut A since you found it in strut A. You don't really need to do that. It doesn't take that long to run between them, but it's a good way of avoiding the guards. Because there are some areas where it's sneaking past the guards is a bit of a chore when repeat visits. Yeah, when we do when we do all these again and I do a proper speed run, then uh, yeah, maybe we should do them then. Or you could just ignore me. Um, I didn't think what you said needed me to answer. Well, I'm not going to do a speed run. Oh, Obvi obviously. <clears throat> Strut a roof. Ah, do you know what? I remember. Are you heading back down to the where you came in? Because there's definitely one down there. You know, if you go back down the lift. Yeah. There's a bot down there. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Fell on seagull poo. Should be a trophy for that if it's one for anything. Come on. I think there was. Oh, you did it already, didn't you? Of course. Are you going to shoot me? Yep. <laughs> Put one in his leg. He'll soon start talking. Just make sure to shoot him with this gun unless you want to actually kill him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I did quite a lot of times. By mistake, get his chamber weapon. Now then, when you get the big weapons like the rocket launchers and stuff, you can go up to guards and point them with that and they will always shake for you. If you're pointing a rocket launcher at them, they don't start acting tough. <laughs> Is it down here? Where the hell am oh, I no, going? You, you have to get that lift to come up again. And how? How do you do that? Uh, I don't remember, I'm sure. Maybe I need. Maybe that's the last maybe, thing. Maybe, I do. maybe it's a story thing. Yeah, maybe it's the last one you have to get. Actually, could be down there. In fact, that is the case. You have to. There's like a time limit on the last one, and it's at the bottom down there. Sorry. <laughs> You're supposed to be the resident expert here. Not impressed, Sam. Totally not yep. an expert. I just have played these games a few times. Oh shit! 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 Oh my god! He's coming to investigate. Garden every cupboard. Yep. That's primarily what the lockers are for, just putting guards to them. What happens if they wake up in the locker? Where am I going? Uh, head out that door that you're facing now. Because you might as well go around. You, you started in this direction, you might as well just go around in a circle. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I forgot where I was going. Oh, actually, I where I'd be um, now then, actually, maybe that's not a good idea because the last one is on a timer, so maybe you should time it to get. You've done the one instruct. B and A, and if you have to come back to strut A, maybe you should... We're heading to strut F now. Depends if you want to skip over it and then make that last one so that... I'm not, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean, but I don't, I don't think I care. <coughs> I, don't think it, I don't think it matters that much. You can just leg it. I'm pretty sure there's enough time to find the bomb as well. Again, I'm thinking on harder difficulties. It is, like, not as much time to get to the last bomb. Uh, this is the warehouse, so I reckon you're best off going in the top entry to this room. Just because it gives you get a better view of it and you can take out the guards more easily from the top floor. <gasps> 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 
see that cartwheel becomes so useful. You're just like, no, just just cartwheel through the doorway. Thank you. Don't need to be seen by anybody. So you've got level one card. So there's probably a couple of doors in here that you can open that you couldn't early now. Hopefully get a pistol with a, like, oh, a, a silent Sophia pistol as well. <laughs> well, there's another guy coming, sorry. Uh, I can't remember where the, um, where the sort of map node is for this room either. I think it's downstairs. Look at all that. Um, if you, uh, there's in this room somewhere. There's a way to crouch. There's a what? If you go to that room you were just in, so you're right on the floor there. Do you see? I wish you could point at the screen, but on the to the right of the door on the floor, there's like a hole in the wall you can crawl through. Oh yeah, yeah I see it. And that's the way I think you can get into rooms that you don't have a key card for, possibly. If the vent takes you to like another room. Or it could just be into the corridor either way, it's a way of, sort of getting around. The oh, I remember getting alerts here about a million times the first time I played it. Yeah. I'm doing I'm doing better than I did on the first playthrough, I think. I think so. <laughs> Sneaky. That was stealthy. Did you get him? Yep. Yeah, he got him. Just because he shot him, he just did a quick shot at him. He just hit him in the middle of his torso, so <laughs> it's not instant sleep. It's only instant sleep, as we've said, if you hit him in the head or the groin. <laughs> yes, hiding bodies is very much a good idea. Usually, when I've had a shaking the body a couple of times I put another trank into them as well just to reset it but you don't really need to do that I just I was, tend to explore every inch of the level when I play this game I was very uh, fastidious about hiding bodies in um, in Splinter Cell yeah because I think that gives you some kind of a, a, a bonus oh shit shit shit, shit. there we go yeah it said at the end something like so, so many cops were detected or something or, uh, it's the enemy Face. You can, um, if you go to the, maybe, try, maybe go and hide in that vent actually, whilst they're going to investigate perhaps. I know where the thing is as well, you know. Yeah, it's down there, if you flip over to that. Hey. Shit, I didn't mean to jump back up. Wow. That was a grenade, someone threw a grenade. Oh, no call. No what? I don't know, there was no codec call for that one. Hey! It's probably because I've got alert stick on it, it'll probably come on after I finish this. They're gonna throw a grenade, you have to get out Great. of there, mate. Oh uh, shit, I'm dead. <laughs> I have dead five eye. rations as well, right. bugger. Well, it's selected, though. Oh yeah, first time we've seen the game over screen, by the way, on this one. Yeah, totally different game over screen. Yeah. No, not the game over screen, Lou. Yep. Can you read that? No, no. you can't. No, that's just a light. <laughs> I can't. I'm playing. No, it says uh, next time Chris dies, say that I knew he was going to die. That's from Steve. <laughs> Steve can suck my balls. Can. There's another guard right there. To your right. Oh, he was going for his gun as well then. Get in there the then. Vent. Now the vent is handy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> See the old knob rotate maneuver on the floor there where he pivots on his knob. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. I could have got away from that. But... <laughs> Trying to make them angry, I guess. Huh? Huh? Did you guys all just feel like you got stung in the leg? Yeah. Probably nothing. 
Are they all going to fall over out in the corridor? Probably are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Where is the bloody node for this? It must be downstairs in the cockpit. Him, then? Yep. Should in a second, then. I should have hit him in a head, a head though. I thought I did. There you go. What's with the shoulder? Tis but a flesh wound. They're all kicking each other awake now, aren't they? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, no codec call, just genuinely. That's nice. That I can't nice. remember how you get to those magazines. You have to jump down from one of the other bits, I guess. You don't yeah, need it. Yeah, you'll jump way. jump off the uh, banister that I just like I just did. I think if you stood on this level, you think you're okay. It's when you go up the next one that we'll see. I wish I could see him in the radar. Yeah. Try that to listen to where he is. Connect to the radar thing. Maybe use the RP sensor thingy instead for a bit. Oh, shit! Oh, Chris! Gosh, darn it. Making that same mistake again. Um, uh, I detected. I think you could crawl under there, under those shelves to your right. Oh. I, you get I like how small you make yourself. Look at how, how close I am to the back when I turn yeah. round. <laughs> just, I'm just a person. You're just a disembodied head. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah, you shrink down to about being a, a one foot. I'm getting tall massive, man. massive deja vu from the original game here. It's <laughs> that bloody storeroom that you went in about eight times, hiding under it. No, no, that was oh, this uh, game. That was that it? was the tanker from this game, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. It was two episodes ago. Oh god, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Well, where all the melons were. Yes, that's it, yeah. Because yeah. I remember there weren't melons in the first one. No, I don't think they're going to come yeah. in here, are they? Destructible melons. No, but they might be right outside the door, though, that's the thing. Um, vibrate function work if you play the eight. Oh, bad. Straight on me. Fucking hell, I can't use it well. I was going to say, you've got that RP sensor, which if you've not got the radar, you can use it to see if there's anyone near when you're walking out of doors and stuff. Oh, thank God. He's staring right the at me. The laziest guards in the world. Yeah, you're definitely would think. Look at the lockers, you know. Thank God. Ah. 
See, it's Pentasmin in this game, your sniper rifle, not the uh, diazepam. Um, I'm not sure as well, actually. There you go. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <coughs> this takes you, if you, you remember that other yeah, room yeah. you were in? It takes you into the back bit of there, you can pick up the item that's in there. I just wanted to open the rest of these lockers, but those guides, guards are around. I don't think they'll come back in the room, though, will they? No, I don't think so. Got locker fever, you boy. You're only jealous because I know how to treat them. Be kicking him in a lot. Of kicking them, so him in, yeah. Kick <laughs> Treating them mean to keep him keen. It's like the commando, commando theme tune. <laughs> well, it's not great. Steel, yeah, steel drums, wasn't it? Yeah, steel drums. Ah, oh, there's your soak up suppressor. Now that was a good item to find. Yes. So you've now got a silencer for your pistol, which is nice. There we go. Put the movable ones attached. Yeah, you never. Know. Always on strength and just cross threads to death. Like, ah! Oh bollocks! In Metal Gear Solid Three onwards, your silencers um, have a life bar, so they run out after a while as well. So a silenced oh, weapon yeah. isn't, isn't silenced for the whole game. You have to buy. Well, you don't buy, but you find silencers for them. Uh, durability. Yeah. Yep. I hate durability in games. I think we've talked about that. It's one of my pet hates. Items which decay. We did talk about it, yeah. I I don't know how I feel about it. I, sometimes I hate it, sometimes I think it kind of makes sense. In the Silence Award, I honestly don't know enough about Silence to say if that's the case, if they only have a limited usage. Uh, or if once the Silence is attached, it's just there forever. Probably, or as long as it does. Yeah, the lifetime of the barrel, really. Yeah, I would have thought so. Oh, cutscene. Stuff. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, there's a dude walking up those stairs. It's a bit of a long. He will. He's got binoculars though, so you kind of have to take him out. Otherwise, it just makes getting across this area a pain in the bum hole. I'm not sure if crouching makes a better swim in this game. I mean, Fucking headshot. <laughs> On go. <laughs> Sweet. Now some of Did, these <coughs> didn't even need my 55 inch HD TV either. I think someone's about to say what I was about to tell you. Oh, look, see. It's someone who sounds a little bit sad. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat. Oh, flashbacks. From Shadow Moses. Mr. X then. Mr. X now is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. The first time I've heard his voice, I didn't realise it sounded like such a, a weird oh, no, he, uh, he did, German different pop. voice. Girl. He didn't sound like so that in the first one. Himself, Mr. Uh, X just like contacted that at all. me. Do you know anything it reminds about me a bit of um, no. and the Helios was, from it the first transmission. The AI. The transmission was sent from Helios. within the big shell. I think it's, it's either Helios he or um, Deep Throat at first. Into the D. Do you think? One of the AIs that talks to you. Daedalus. Daedalus, that's it. Helios is what it turns into, isn't it? Is none. I'm not sure. Is that on the end of two? That alias in Shadow One. Moses, and he's dead. Is it? I mean, when you when you join with them, become Helios or you know, something like that. Exercise extreme mm. caution. Um, Helios, isn't it? Yeah, Daedalus is the one I'm thinking of, though. Oh Mines, shit! Mines. Oh. Did you just tell me that as well? I did, and also Mr. X did. I was about to tell you that. I wasn't Mr. even X listening did. to him. Sorry, I was talking oh. about fucking Deus Ex then. Right. Um, Sorry, mate. Yeah, did that, it was basically as the flashback to the first game where Mr. Uh, Deep Throat rings and tells you about the mines in the snowfield, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you hide mines on a metal floor? The stealth equipped mines. <laughs> Fuck it, I can't see them. I haven't got just, thermal dogs. You've got a mine detector though, mate. I need that. I mean, it gives them a, a blobby. Yeah, there you go. Radar. Where are they? Radar blip. Oh! 
I Yellow see. radar blips. Get them all. I so thought you were going to run into that one then. So did I. You're going to crouch down and as you crouched it would like blow up. <laughs> yeah, so's our deep throat. Yes! Uh. Yeah, you can't go across that bridge yet. Or you can, but you can't get into the core of sh uh, shell wards. So there's no point going over there. Ah, see, so this is the parcel room, so those boxes, things can be used here. Anyway. Jack, do you remember the day we met? Oh, oh God, my shut God. up! You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred no! to the, oh, the music. There are all these tourists around you in front of the Federal Hall. It does mean something, though, this com this particular conversation. It does mean it was something. That King Kong was there's, climbing in the there's a reason why Rose is reading. Like, there is a reason the for this kind of shit to happen. It's and not just arbitrary. And started but, yeah, off. still. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said oh. the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> Not the time or the I place! The I know, I, I can't think. I was can't help I was thinking right. out how inappropriate it is to have her on the mission, let alone the let her do this. It is incredibly inappropriate to have her on the mission. Yes. The but then, yeah, recall. there's a reason why the she's there. To 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 park. Yep. And Fuck you up as a shit. Since the museum was closed, we. Why is the live music playing? I don't know, the fucking jazz music in the background. We have all. A little time. That we were time. actually working at the same place. <laughs> time. That was good. That night. Yeah, the time of the world. <laughs> the time. It was so beautiful. I can look down the across the building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't uh. care anymore who was right. And yeah, I forgot about all this shit. We watched King Kong. It's like a really shitty Las Vegas tourism. That dude didn't sleep. Get my base out. I don't know, over there. Let's just go slap. Doop, 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 doop. I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> just, taking up your just to make it's not it even more awkward. It's not even in shot, my base. I thought I thought it'd be in shot this week. Well, should I say, just got it. I thought I'd have it. Yeah, shot. you're one of those horrible people who walks around with a massive guitar case on the back in the middle of cities. No. no. Good. Are there guards in here? Yes, there are. <laughs> is this the box I remember about that? Yeah, it is, yeah. <coughs> so, yeah, you go in there and it'll, it'll take you. But there's the orange. If it's the orange, it might take you back to where Stillman is because he was in the canteen, wasn't he? Maybe that's what it is. Like, the box doesn't say what strut it's for, but there's a clue on what's on the box. That's it, yeah. Oh, bollocks. Shot. And the node thing's at the top right there. Oh, oh Chris. What? Shoot me the bomb. Shot him in a gooch. Right up it. It's not like I'm, I'm like, I'm not allowed to make a single mistake with you around, am I? Yeah. No! What's, what's the death counter say on your screen? Is it 35? Yes. Yeah. It shouldn't be, it should be 36. I've changed it. Uh, I haven't got Google oh. Drive open, sorry. Also, <laughs> did you did you dispose of a bomb in that strut, mate? I don't think you did. Yeah, you got to go back and get rid of the... Well, you don't have to go back, but there's a bomb in there to get rid of. At least one. I've just started Google Drive again, so it should open shortly. Sorry. So hard. <clears throat> Will be. Those guards better still be asleep. Better I'd be. Ah, the power of the nodes, or the console, or whatever they're called in this game. I want to know what that chemical is in the background. Okay. Box is 5, Jesus. Chemical formula in the background floating around when you're on the console. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Um, hey, that's a bit gimme, that, innit? I've, I knocked them out. They 
said that they would have reinforcements who would normally come in and kick them awake, and now... Oh, it didn't, because you went and left the room. Yeah. And hey, that's a good thing. Well, <laughs> it's a good thing, but it's also a bit of a cheat. I yeah. say a cheat. It's, it's, it can be taken advantage of. Ah, do you know what it is? I think that, that box fire that you just got. What? I think that box fire that you just got, if you get on the machine, it'll take you into a secret room, I think. Ooh. Um, I think box five is sort of the end of this one. It takes you into that lock level five room, I think. Could be wrong, but I'll get to where they go, isn't it? I think the demo for Metal Gear Solid 2 came with sort of the enders, so it kind of makes sense that he would put that in the game. Right, where? Just get on top, you where you get where you went before. Nothing was wrong. But you jump on that platform there, and then where the box eventually the machine will stop and then pick you up and let you get on basically. Oh, I just got a just yep. heard a noise. And you get on and then stop moving again and it'll set off. Yeah, you have to let it stop fully. The little light will go green on the uh, <laughs> on the table there, when you can get on. Remember so much detail. Yeah. I wouldn't get like in a that, box the, and go through again, a lot of machinery. The game never tells you you can do this. It's just stuff you could figure out, or, or you know, look up online and stuff. But mm. yeah, little things like this, just for the sake of them being there, just for fun. I there do admire the attention to detail. It, it, there's, it, there's a lot going on in this game. In all of them. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Digital camera. Don't think you really need that, but there you go. <laughs> Extra thing to have, I suppose. Take some pictures of your times in Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, we can watch, back, might... watch it back fondly. Yeah. You might have to get back on the thing Ooh. to get out of this room, possibly. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to start taking pictures and saving them. No, oh, I'm just seeing what it does. Crikey, that's loud. Uh. Well, I remember you could get in this room, I don't remember what was in here. The digital camera for me is kind of like, not the Meh. juice. Yeah, I, don't, I can't be asked to take pictures of Metal Gear Solid 2. I bet there's loads of uh, Easter eggs with it, as you would expect. Maybe there are, I don't know. <laughs> Hope the guard didn't see that. Oh, no he did. <laughs> he saw that. <laughs> Start to imagine that I still haven't done the bomb in that room yet either. Yeah, alright, alright. I think it's actually on the roof of that one. Shut in the throat! <laughs> Just a tranquilizer, it doesn't hurt him. this bomb. I've got a feeling it might be uh, upstairs. Okay, this is not a good position to be in. Up the stairs, the, not um, down. No, yeah, so to the right, um, and then head up, as in up screen, yeah. Then there's a little staircase to your right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it does not work when you go up. Only if you're on the last couple of stairs. Yeah, the last like couple of steps, yeah. <laughs> At least that we're getting a laugh out of Lou, though, occasionally. <laughs> the cutscenes are hilarious in their own way. Speaking of which... Good God, there are a lot of cutscenes in this game, aren't there? Fly. What's the situation over there? 
puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. Ooh. What? What the? <laughs> what? Are you hiding something <laughs> from me? <laughs> Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone yeah, use that box trick before. Bridge. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over Do you know what? Bridge. I've forgotten something. You know, it's after you speak to Stillman. Um, if you run out of follow solid snake up to shell two, you can see you're running away in a cardboard box. What a thing to say. say that again, sorry. Drop your gun. After you've had that little cutscene with Stillman where he talks about destroying the box. Yeah. If you leg it after solid snake in the direction that he's gone, or Pliskin or whoever, you can see him running running across the bridge in a car under a cardboard box. All right. Just a little funny little uh, Easter egg if you're quick enough to catch it. I totally forgot about it. You're supposed to be remembering all these, mate. All these um, Easter eggs that I'm supposed to be trying to get. I usually remember them after the combat. Yeah, well, I've noticed that. Sorry, I can't help it. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? I shot her. Like you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, <laughs> Colonel Gerlukovich, died. <laughs> Watch yourself with her. I have a little dance whilst I'm talking. <laughs> hey, hey, mate, you, mate, mate. Oh my goodness. Where's that flipping bomb? I've got a feeling it's underneath the aeroplane. <coughs> this is also the area where you fight Fat Man as a boss, as well. You come back here to fight him as a boss. Yep. And he it skates looks like a around. Boss area. It does have a boss area feel to it. And there's one of the bosses you're going to fight later the Harrier Jet. Oh, hello. Shit. You thought, um, you thought Harrier Jets as a boss in Midnight Resistance, a really old game. Yeah? yeah what, just one? Right in here. No, it was a the few C4 of them, I think. Is it, on the roof of Stru e has been taken Great care game. Explosives you have to fight against a battleship on at one point as well. On the Unfortunately. <laughs> Or was it out at sea? Was it like right? It's, it's like running? a, a big dry dock, and you basically just run a long shoot from the shit out of it. What's up? Right. Is it a 2D game? Yeah, yeah, it's a quite an old game. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around, knowing Fat Man and take the feeling that all the bombs yeah, I thought he said that as well. Wrong. So, did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all oh, the other ones time. were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New Goodness. model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed Yay! tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try this. <laughs> You're a cripple, old man. Hold on. Yeah. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. 135,000 okay. overflows. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. 135,000 overflows. Yeah, for audio overflows that are coming into my headphones, but I'm not hearing a single pop, so I don't know what the hell it's doing. I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb five years ago. I messed up. Here we go. This tragic backstory. And the church was lost in the explosion. All those kids. Is that a harmonic racket here, there? These past five years have lived a lie. So lied? Yes, yeah, it is. Lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Ah, so many dead. All because of my mistake. 
All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself. I love how he's having a revelation now in the middle of a mission. Be sorry for me. For my weakness. I think that's exactly how I feel, Ryden. Now he can redeem himself, can't he, by saving the big shit? I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. Yeah, with all those children and innocents standing by. Yeah. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean or wherever it is. supposed to be a shield. And it's become a shroud instead. Oh. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. Hey, 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 you're a coward. Hey, God forgive hey, me. I can hey, walk hey, with my hey. own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No yeah, one arrogance. should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can diffuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. Get it? Diffuse that one's his own sins? You got it, Raiden. I understand. <laughs> Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs then. You do that too, right? I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for Peg Leg Peter. He's gone for good. For fuck's sake. I know it is, I just don't ask for me. I met you about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. For fuck's sake. And you totally trust me as well. Yep. He's walking fast, isn't he? Oh, shit off. Ah. Huh? I think you've only got one more left to go before the big countdown one goes off. Dead. Oh, my word. He just... <laughs> Do some pull-ups. Oh, can you drop down on him, actually? That's what, exactly what I'm trying to do. Or will you just... You might have to drop and grab the... Ryden, what's oh. going on? <laughs> <laughs> 37. Just testing the boundaries <sighs> of the world, you know. Nice, <clears throat> <laughs> so fast. It's ridiculous, but it's awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do that once more, just just for effect. Yes. Right, anyway. Right, what am I doing now? Um, you head back inside the parcel room, or after you've taken this dude out. <laughs> Flipping heck. I wasn't close enough, obviously, to... <coughs> ...freeze thing here. Yeah. When you head into the parcel room, you're heading to the left and out the door. What? Uh, to... When you head into the parcel room, you're heading to the scre you know, screen left. So head back into that room, back to that door there. Here? Yeah. Yeah. You said left. I was, that was right. You said when you get... No, it wasn't. <coughs> Going through that door, you went left to go through that door. Where are you now? And you're heading left once you're in this room, is what I meant. When you're in the parcel room, head left. Down? No, just up. And then out that door to the left, top left. Is there somebody there? Then over to Strut, uh, whatever that next Strut letter is. Wah. Strut, the last one that you need to go to. Uh, this is the like the pumping room or sediment pool. This is probably the hardest sneaking bit. Because there's loads of guards can see you from all over the place in this one because it's so open. I just remember this room being a tricky one to sneak through. <laughs> Chris is going to gank everyone in the edge with his tranks. Your best bet is to just track everybody, yeah, because it makes it so much easier. But before, when you get in each room, before you've got the radar, there is that element of like, if they come around a corner you've not seen it, you just get spotted. 
there's a dude down there. I can smell poo. You what, sorry? I can smell poo. Not me. If you, if you shut yourself again, Chris. No, not this time. Uh. I believe this is one of those bits where you could, if you jump over the ledge, you could just sort of drop down or do that. Oh, it's in ah, one yes. of those, I isn't it? There's a bomb in one of those. I think yeah. it's on the bottom level, though, I think. Just reminded me. Yeah. of the Last C4 one. in strut D is complete. Explosives were planted on the maintenance hatch. Good work. Only one more left to go. Hang on, wasn't the one more left this to go a, one ago? I'm here. <laughs> What's up? One more right. left to go for you. To hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. What? Hang on, this oh, is the same. Just said this. I think, I think I just have to go and do that other one again by the looks of it. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe it didn't do it. Yeah, because you reloaded on the roof, didn't you? You must have not done it. Uh, oh, yeah, well, I don't well. remember that happening before. Everything else seems to save. Anyway, bugger it. I'll go on. Oh, shit. Leg it! I bet you they'll got to come through the door that you're headed towards. Just to be extra bellies. Go oh shit, they were coming for the, the top one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not the one I was going towards, thankfully. Uh, this is bottom, isn't it? Of Yeah, just the same. Just I remember doing this, this one before, and I, I spent all of my time grabbing hold of the, the <laughs> hips. Are we holding the what? Sorry. Fucking hell, that's not the gun. You can use the, the spray on guys, but it doesn't knock them out or anything. <laughs> What to do with them? Um, yeah, I can't really show you the gesture, but they sort of, sort of bow their head and sort of wave, try and wave the smoke, the the, the ice oh, out of their face. Like that. Yeah, it's very sort of like that. Yeah. Ow. And that's loud. Yeah, that. The enemy in the area. Increase security level. Can you say something, Chris? Eh? Like no. It, the volume just like went really high there. Sorry. I'm gonna be brutally honest here and say that this is a very tedious mission. It's a uh, the bomb disposal thing is not the best. It's weird because in terms of pacing the game out, it's a strange place to put padding in. Is in this section, but it this is what the bomb disposal is. It's for that yeah, I mean the original, the original in the first mission that you played was very. It's like there's the, the short bouts of different things you're doing, but this is just a really long series of... It's a fetch quest, basically. Yeah, it is a bit. The rest of the game isn't like this. It, it's just... I guess this is just a way of sort of making you get around all the struts that they built for this place. But then you have to ask yourself the question, well, what was more important? Making the base that you wanted to look like this, or making the engaging gameplay for the player? It, I don't know. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Was it a bit too right. smug that one? That was an unnecessarily smug way of saying that. Wasn't it? <laughs> there's, there's no bombs around here. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You 
think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Yeah. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell yeah. 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut, no, it doesn't. the whole structure will Shut tear up. itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? Like You're a bombs expert. Uh, You're not an architect, it makes mate. Combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the <laughs> of course. while I was in the pantry. <laughs> I just brought, brought it along. I just tested it, and it definitely responds. <laughs> yeah, you know what a hydrogen <laughs> bomb detector is. Sound, not the radar. It's just the sound. The shorter. The uh, just the smell of poo, basically. I imagine. Of the target. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, right? Uh, <coughs> some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. But you'll okay. tell me as soon as I get I'll there on the call. Actually, that end. works out nicely for us. Basically, from where you are now, you head back through the sediment room we were just in and around again, and you're back to the pantry. Struck. Oh, there's so many boxes. Hmm? <laughs> there's somebody there. Is that the sound of cartwheeling? <laughs> <laughs> he's not cartwheeling. He's not touching the floor it's, at all, is it's he? More like a sideways flip, salt, somersault type thing. Yeah. It's mint as whatever it is. It's a ridiculous move, like. Where are we oh, going up here? Room. Yep. Obviously it's all in a big round circle, so you go back to the sediment room and then across the next bridge and then you're back into Strut C, which is where the pantry is, I think. And there's a dude up there with his binoculars. You have to do the old lean up on your tippy toes thing. I'll just go under. Oh shit. I didn't do just it. Just leg it. Just yeah. leg it. <laughs> the enemy got away. Yeah, the actual sneaking in this game is a hell of a lot more difficult than it was in the first one, I think. Yeah, you can. Like, you think the M9 tranquilizer would give you a huge advantage, but realistically, it doesn't. I find this game, the stealth is more difficult, in this game, it's more challenging. I've noticed, Chris, when you when you um when you when you fuck up the stealth, you just you go running through the entire game. <laughs> and you don't care anymore. Look like now. Yep. Shit. Cartwheel in I've got to call it a cartwheel because it's the closest thing to what it is. A handless cartwheel. And also the fact that because this is story related, there's no guards in this area to bother you, so you just come straight in, the alert mode's gone. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of Strut A. So many A's and B's How's and X's bomb? and I'm shit in this. But that's sensor B, but you have to go back to Strut. A, a with sense of B, don't you set to A and strut A, but there are a few enemy A I have to take care of. To get rid of bomb C. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It's an odd one. The dead with bomb X. What? Yep. But the sensors are live. Which means This is <coughs> I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then wait, Bliskin! No, don't do that! Heaven's alright. What's, uh, What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down. What happened? The That's a stupid moment. Cheers, Snake. Are you awesome. Went you big right. awesome. The one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry. What's the remaining time? Two seconds. Four hundred seconds. Four hundred seconds. Ah, oh, plenty of time. Right. Move. Get to the bottom of strut A now. 
Get over there. Speed run. How? Where? Uh, down to the south end of this room. I'm going to use those kind of compass directions because I think it's easier rather than saying up and down, south. Yeah. Because you up could be up the stairs, couldn't it? So mm -hmm. south is better. So you're basically just heading south this way. <laughs> south could fuck off. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder how many alerts you're gonna have at the end of this game. I'd say what, it's a good job we're not doing an alert count then, Lou. <laughs> and you really would be in trouble. <laughs> I thought death was enough. Yeah. Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> okay now. <laughs> I like how nobody's uh, given this corridor a quick wipe over or anything either. Oh, piss off. Kicked him as he was going through the door. Oh, shit. That was totally the wrong weapon then. <laughs> what was that, a stun grenade? Or a it was a chaff grenade. Or a, a confetti grenade. Climber. Yeah, yeah. confetti climber. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that look prop. I'm sure that I'm correct on the, the, the SD version, but it just looks like confetti. Right, um, where am I going again? Um, up the stairs that are just I mean, out on the other side of this locker. Back to the roof of Strut The other side, so east. Doesn't matter. Okay. Up the stairs. Doesn't matter which staircase you go up. Yeah, good call. Sorry, I'm being an idiot. I forgot where I was. Then do the lift. Probably guards up here. What abs? Yeah, you have to do the get rid of the last bomb, and then you have to sort of the well. There's it's a fight with fortune, but it's not really a fight. Right. You Listen. can't damage it. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. I fell for what? That man has my number. A oh, is that music to play? Microwave. M yep. Microwave? With a seven foot range. It's not a Stop I told her. talking in your fucking language, mate, and tell people. Looks like he's far surpassed. He's doing it now. As far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest. Pete, get the hell out of there. There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! <laughs> Listen, get away from Strut H as fast as. Not you, my best Pete. friend! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. I reckon his full name is Valet Pete. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Yay! He's a, he's a bit. He's a bit deaded, isn't he? Now then, I think it's on. You know when you came in and there was like a, a submersible above the waterfall that you came in on. I think it's on the bottom. That. You broke up there, Luke. Crouch down to Sam. see it. Yeah, the video's gone really shite as well. Yeah, sorry, I Sam. I think. Might have lost you. Um. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Can't see a thing. Uh, so I believe the bomb is on the bottom of that supposed book. Right. So I... submarine, and I think it's on the bottom of there. I don't go through here. Yeah, sort of go to the edge of the book. Yeah, I think you have to go to the edge of the pool and crouch down, and you can see it, I think. You've got the, 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 new, the new bomb sensor as well you can use in this room. Bomb sensor B. <coughs> yeah, you might need to go back out. Oh, no. I don't think it's there, mate. 
There you go. I think it's on the bottom of that little impersonal thingy. You may have to crouch down to see it. I see it. There you go. Can you get it from there, maybe? Yay! Yeah. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Yeah. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the oh. central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? <coughs> Rescue the president. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. <laughs> I just Sorry. crawled. I thought I might be able to get in there, sorry. There's so many little crawly spaces. I guess we're going to a boss fight now, are we? Yeah, it's yeah, not far it's off. Boss, it's more of a boss encounter than a fight. You can't damage the boss. You have to just <coughs> survive the boss. The terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage <coughs> has been killed. Shot in the oh. head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the president. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt. They're all in danger. Jack, be reasonable. I know oh, you're feeling, God, but you can't away. save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well, yes. Looks like he's turned his radio off, too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden. Go and rescue the president. You can start off by getting to the upper level of strut A. Strut A. Yeah, it was a bit uh, crazy gravelly, wasn't it? I can't tell you how happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. It's ridiculous, that gun. Show you <coughs> ridiculously <coughs> awesome. Like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. What are you on about? I'm trying to think who her father would be. It was the... The Marine Commander guy from the ship. That's not him. This could be mm. interesting. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? She needs to learn to put makeup Maybe on. Maybe you can give me death. <laughs> give her juice. She's just Sorry. Bleached, bleached her hair just before she came here. Yeah? After all that shit you said about makeup last time as well. And without a death yeah. to call my own. Still stands. Hurry. She's got Please. makeup on, therefore she should put it on properly. She shouldn't wear it all, but it's you. So yeah, remember this one? Just just don't die, just avoid her. You can't hurt her. You, you can shoot her if you want, but it's not gonna achieve anything. <laughs> I 
Very kinky, isn't she? Oh shit. I was gonna say she will shoot the light but it's um, and all the, the barrels obviously big barrels in a game they explode or set off fire normally. Yeah, that box will eventually get destroyed as well. As you can there you see. go. Yeah. Oh, that barrel going to set on fire? Yes, it is. <laughs> Not a good time. Right. Fat man just contacted us directly. <coughs> Fat man called us? Yes. Looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport. He specifically asked for you, right? What? He's calling you out, right? Off, Peter. Now he's after you. Why me? How should I know? Look, this is really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, right? Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the count. 400 seconds remaining. So he's planning on taking this place out. It looks like he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. What about backup? None. There's no time. Which type of explosives is it? He didn't say. Very helpful, Colonel. Colonel in three as well. Um, no. It wouldn't have been a colonel there anyway if he was. That'd be too young. He'd be a little kid, I think. I'll take over, over Queen. What is it? It seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place. Yes, this could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? <laughs> But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bum now. Monologuing as well, I'm tr totally trying to avoid monologuing. And with it, or exposition, yeah. you know. Just, you know, at least try and deal with it in a clever way or something, you know. It's an interesting way. I expected more of this one, really. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later. Again, wearing totally inappropriate clothes, isn't she? Yeah, but she doesn't need to. Ooh, nice. Thanks. Thanks for that. So the end of bullet deflecto caused him to get a bit shot and that. Was meant for me. Why oh, am I why did you cry about it with your paradox? <laughs> she knows she's got the, that fucking thingy on, she doesn't she? No, she doesn't. That's the whole point. She she thinks that she can't die. How long will you force me to live? <laughs> How much longer, Dad? I don't even know what that thing is. I just know there's some thing involved. <clears throat> I love that how much longer Dan is like so because he's dead he's not letting you die what <laughs> you're a plum fortune you're a massive plum I thought you could give me I think I'd get quite a lot of use out of a sneaking suit yeah sneaking down Tesco's couldn't kill me either. <laughs> sneaking around the house sneaking around at your house Oh, oh. Are you making stealth coppers? Stealth coppers. 
stealth brew. Silently boiling the kettle. Stirring without a sound. But then when water boils, it does make a bit of a sound. You have to... Yeah, but he's still silencer. Boiling. <laughs> yeah. Into like a kettle silencer that you can attach. Suppressor. <laughs> <laughs> Toasty suppressor. Toasty machine you, suppressor. Would you use those round tea bags so they don't have corners to make noises? Because <laughs> yeah. that's what makes noises when you're stirring tea. It's the corners <laughs> on the tea bags. Yeah. <laughs> There's no need for us. Oh, there he is. Look. The clatter of the cord against the cup. <laughs> I died once already. I hate him so much. Have you ever seen you? I know you have some. Um, the Scorpio <laughs> Killer from um, yeah. Dirty Harry, the first Dirty Harry film. No, I've not really seen Dirty, Dirty Harry the, movie. I mean, obviously a bit of a classic, but I swear to God that the the bad guy, the Scorpio Killer in that, he is such a dick. The <laughs> biggest bell end you'll ever see on film. Like he has those like ninety seventies crazy eyes. That he's <laughs> crazy guys in the 1970s movies always seem to have. He's not as bad. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if he's worse than Pretz or not. Pretz from Pretz. Um, Hercules fucking... in New York. <laughs> yeah, Hercules in New York. Have you seen that, Lou? Nope. Oh, I'm going to bring That's... that and we'll watch it on Saturday it's night. Not an, or something. It's not an Arnie movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's Arnie's, it's Arnie's first movie with another uh, pumping iron. The yeah. fuck? Oh, I forgot <laughs> about them. Pumping iron. I'm coming day and night. Yeah. <laughs> I love pumping iron. Classic. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit in uh, Hercules in New York where Arnie fights a bear, but it's it's a bloke dressed as a bear. It's blatantly I mean, a like, bloke dressed as a bear. Like, yeah, like a kid's Halloween costume type bear costume. Right, in where am I going? Central Park. I just realised there's a timer and I'm fucking around. What, what am I supposed to be doing? Um... Yeah, so you're going the right way, just head to the door in the northeast corner of this room. F A and F. Oh. <laughs> I just walked in front of me and you didn't even see me. Look it! No, not that way, back up the stairs that way. <laughs> oh. Oh, You said northeast, and that's the most northern eastern one that I went to. Apart from the door that you just went out of, yeah. Yeah, sorry, that's the right door, yeah. Um, and on and on, you go. So you're headed back through the warehouse next. Just leg it. I would just go leg it as well, there's no... Um, I just I keep forgetting control. about the timer, Jesus. Yeah, don't bother, he's going down the stairs, then you'll be alright. And then same again, when you get in this room, you're heading um, through the door to the north on this level as well. You might as well stay on the top level. Ooh. Shit. That's all right. He's not coming through to the end. The other guy might, though. He looks like he's... Uh, he's he's, looks like he's he on a to. ranch. Or they might come out. If they're going to leave the room, they might leave that way as well. So I want to quickly flip across to the other side. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Tactical espionage and aptitude. <laughs> what the? Oh, the food <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, do you know what? You might because it's a timer. You're about to start from the beginning of this time. Like, That's fine. Know? I was I forgot it was there most of it, so I'm happy with that. I'll be honest. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I was I was just fannying around, and I should have really been running. You still had loads of time. But yeah. Yeah, but I think maybe get. Do you want to? Where do you want to stop? Do you want to get up to the fat man fight like and then stop? Or do you want to I, do the fat man fight and then stop? I think we get to wherever we're going to now. Come on, yeah. Chris. There we go. I can't remember where the thermal goggles are in this game. I've got a feeling they're in the warehouse somewhere, but you have to have the right key card to get them. You can't get them now, anyway. Enemies 
<laughs> Requesting off. Oh, sweet. Go. Questing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's going on? Respond. What's going on? Respond. Huh. Keep going up. Keep going up the stairs. Oh. Up the stairs. Yeah. Go through that door. Uh, and then this should take you to the run you head into. And you're back up. Up the top again and up to where the Harrier jet was. Oh, you made it before the binocular man got in position as well. So, you get to that stairwell which is in the northeast end of this room. As to where the bob, there's the bob at the top. I've got a feeling it's right in the middle of the thing, and then as soon as you freeze it, the boss fight basically starts. A fat man turns up and is a complete dickhead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do him. I'm bored. I'm going to. Uh, I want to do a save. Oh, oh, it was auto con <laughs> save before, wasn't it? I was just like. Jack, you okay? I bet she talks to you afterwards as well. <laughs> she does, but I'm not going to listen to her. <clears throat> she remembered the first time we had a pa packet of crisps together? <laughs> well, they call them chips in America, don't they? Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh, she just said hang in there. I was already oh. hammering X as well. <laughs> Right, anyway, so yes, thank you very much everyone for watching. Um, we'll be back next Monday with part three? Four? Part four. <laughs> four, I think it'll be part four. Oh, yeah. So we'll be fighting the fat man. I'm sorry, the, 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 thing, at, the thing about Metal Gear Solid 2 is the control system is bliss in comparison to the first one. Absolutely wonderful. It's a little bit loose in places, but it, fe it feels a lot nicer and a lot better. There's something about the cutscenes, though, that are... I, I, I've, I'm not investing in the story in this one at all as much you know I mean f I think the story in 4 is amazing the story in 3 is pretty cool 1 interesting-ish maybe I don't know no actually pretty good but this one just don't yeah, care the, it, again I'll put it down to like Dead Cell not being as interesting also you've got the whole Rose thing it, it's weird because like it, it's the kind of thing but I guess sorry too where it all comes to a head at the end of the game and I I know that is, like, it seems like a silly excuse to give for the rest of the game. But the game, the gameplay, in terms it, of the... the gameplay in this one in particular is engaging enough, I think, to get you to the end. Mm. And and you can skip every single cutscene and every single codec call, so you don't actually need to watch them, you know, if you if you're not sure. into the story. So the gameplay is good enough and engaging enough, I think, to keep you going. But as I said, I just as you said, rather, I think the bosses are really lackluster. There's not really any connection to the overall story um, with any of the bosses, is there? I think Apart from once, the Solidus, once Solidus shows up properly, it gets the story picks up from what I remember. Because you've heard him a little bit on a um, on a, on the walkie-talkie to Olga as she was on the roof there. Hmm. But, yeah, it, well, it picks up once that gets going a little bit more. Uh, but there's a few stumbling blocks in Metal Gear Solid 2 story. It's not, it's not most people's favourite, you know. Um, no. For a good I mean, reason. It's definitely Gameplay a, is good. 
yeah, it's definitely a nicer control system. Definitely much better gameplay, I think, in general. But yeah, it don't know. It feels a little bit like I'm. I'm I'm kind of invincible as well. Maybe it's because I'm playing it on normal, and every other time I've played these games, I've been I've been on hard. I know I say I'm, I'm dying a little bit, but I'm not dying as much as I thought I might. I mean, eight deaths since the beginning, I think, and most of them have been failed stealth attempts. You didn't we die that much at the beginning of um, first Metal Gear Solid, did you? Apart from yeah, when you I, I died like ten times or something on the first the first play. Did you? Something ridiculous. Yeah, it was because I kept pressing the wrong buttons and ducking when yeah, I should I have been so. doing other stuff. Anyway, so yes, Lou, you've got a, have you got a summary on this? Um, that was a, the, the, that was probably the, uh, the the least enjoyable sequence of Metal Gear Solid so far. I think. Uh, yeah. I've I got, think honestly, I... it, it seems like a very tedious mission with very poor cutscenes in it. Yeah, I, I said I'm yeah. just not. I I'm don't. Sure I'm not invested up, in but, the characters. Yeah, I mean the, the last, the, the, you know, even the, even the crap bosses were a bit better than that, like prolonged fetch quest. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and to be fair, the first time you play it, when you don't have someone telling you where to go and you don't have a little bit of knowledge towards the game, it takes a lot longer as well. And it's yeah, a little bit I, like I, I would have given up at that point. I, w I really would have stopped playing there. Yeah, but I've done the same on, on a lot of other missions in all the Metal Gear games. Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, I can't think of anything in Metal Gear 4 that I wasn't, I wasn't keen on. I, I, I definitely gave up with 3. It doesn't seem to follow the established formula of just constantly innovating, constantly giving you new ways to play the game and new challenges. It's just like, it's the longest <coughs> single part of the Metal Gear games so far that you've done. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is for the whole series. Most of them. There's a, there's a bit in Metal Gear Solid 4 where you have to follow a guy, but each section where you follow him is unique and interesting in itself. Mm. Um, I think it's like what yeah, you said earlier, Sam. It's, it seems like filler. And it's it an odd place filler, to put it. Yeah. Almost put it like, in the beginning. Almost like, about, yeah, sorry. Sorry, it's, it's almost like they've designed this um, this big big, big like world, and then thought, how can we put like a game where people can walk all the way around it? Yeah, you know it's I mean? not it's not open world. It's kind of no, free floor. it's not floor, open world, but they've, they've, but created, they've created a big big area, and it's like, well, hang on a sec, we made this huge area, but there's no way, there's no reason for people to explore it. So let's make a quest where they're gonna go to every single part of the area. So yeah. we can kind of justify the budget we spent on building it. Yeah, That's you're right, like. and and I have to agree with with this particular part. I I enjoyed the first part, the um, the bit with the Snake. Was, was ace. Yeah, mm. that, that's really interesting. But yeah, this bit, I've, I always felt that there was a little bit of lackluster here. But it could be the fact that there's little music as well on top of all of that. It's a lot. There's a lot of silence and just wind and seagulls, as you can hear now. Mm. Um, and yeah, and it's, it's all uh, green. Uh, sorry, it's all orange. What's wrong with me? It gets <coughs> there's more interesting stuff later on. Um, there's yeah the sec you, you go about Metal Gear is like each section is a bit more self-contained, or there's like, there's a specific little bit of the mission. There's always one big mission, but there's a bit of the mission you have to do. Like here's your next objective, and that one yeah they, they've done the cooling thing and just gone look. There's one on this strut. There's one on this strut. Go through these other ones to get to this one. Then maybe if there's just two. It'd have been mm. like, ah, oh, that's quite cool. The coolant sprays, and you know, a mechanic in and of itself, fine. But the fact that you have to do, well, what was that? Eight in total, because there's one on each strut, of which there are six. Um, and yet, and then you had to do a two in strut A because there was the extra one there, and then one on, another one on top of that helipad. So that's eight in total. Yeah. And really, like two or three would have been more than enough. Two normal ones go. Oh, there's one on this side. One on this side. Go and get them. Oh, there's a big one here. And you go. Oh no. And then you go and get one and fight Fat Man. Mm. That that'd be enough. Just smack very much of a fetch quest, mm. which is a shame, really. I tell you what, if you won't like Dead Island. <laughs> that is literally that... fetch quest quests. Everything about it is <laughs> is fetch quests, and none of the characters are interesting, and and you, you don't care about any of them at all. But anyway, mm. yes, we're not talking about other games. And this it's game gets stream. better. This game does think, get better when, like, sort of when a, there's more Solid Snake and more Otacon and stuff in it as well. The end of this game is worth waiting for, in my opinion. It is it is an amazing experience. It's 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 both crazy, innovative, and uh, confusing. It, it was, yeah, very confusing. But I, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not having to go at the whole game, and I, I'm you know I I'm not shallow enough <clears> to think <throat> that it's that the whole game's gonna be shit just because of this. Oh, bit yeah, yeah. Shit, but it does it does feel like. This bit is just 
out of place in the series so far. It's been an enjoyable game to watch. And if if I could get away with the camera angles, it'd probably be an enjoyable game to play. Mm. Um, but this bit just seems to, to be dragged on. I said I think I really I do think that you would enjoy four because it's it's you can sh you can play it as a shooter if you want. You can play it, well to an extent. There is some stealth mm. moments. Well, I like I like stealth. Uh, but I mean, it's Metal Gear is very difficult stealth as well. From my experience, it's that the AI is quite. <laughs> I have noticed your idea of stealth. What? <laughs> Set the alarms off, just run through the entire level. Well, we decided <laughs> we weren't doing a, a no kill, no alert playthrough, so that's why I'm doing it, obviously. <laughs> <clears throat> right, really, I'm going to go this time. So, um, thanks for okay. watching, everybody, and we'll uh, we'll have this uploaded, and you shall watch it. <laughs> you Thank shall you. watch it. You shall watch it. Yes, it so shall be seen. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Sam. Goodbye from Lou. See you later. Bye bye. Bye.